Hey, how's it going everyone? Tricky Acid here, and it's been a long time since I've made an Apex Legends video, but here we are again, as Respawn have launched their team-based Battle Royale game on the Nintendo Switch. I've played the hell out of Apex Legends on the Xbox, so the transition to the Switch is pretty interesting. So in this video, I'll give my insight on the game and say, well, is it worth playing on the Switch? But before we get started, as always, be sure to subscribe if you're new, and let's jump right in. For a while now, Apex Legends coming to the Nintendo Switch was lingering in the air. I could honestly see it happening at some point, and come 2021, it's finally on Nintendo's console. Personally, for me, I love the idea of the game coming to the Switch, since being able to play on the go seems like a pretty cool idea. But... Coming from playing the game on Xbox, PlayStation and PC, it doesn't mean it's a great experience. Granted, the other platforms are more powerful hardware, and it's impressive how Respawn and Panic Button even managed to get this game to run as good as it does on the Switch. But there has been some compromising to even fulfill those requirements. For one, the game looks very muddy, like there is a constant fog smearing the screen, and it's due to the fact they've had to dub down the visuals quite a bit. It's understandable that performance was the key element here, but when you do a side-by-side -side comparison of the Switch version versus the Xbox, there's quite a vast difference. But understandably, sacrifices had to be made to make the game run on this console. On handheld, it runs at 576p, and I guess with a smaller screen you don't notice the visual downgrade as much, but when docked, it's upscaled to 720p, and yeah, you can really tell it doesn't look great. Graphics aside, Apex is a pretty fast-paced battle royale game, and it's been on 60fps or over on every other platform. Respawn mentioned that it'll be running at 30fps on the Switch, but I have to say, the frame rate isn't consistent. Yes, you'll get 30fps to some degree, and it's manageable to have a full game, but the game's not achieving 30 FPS through and through. You'll have spikes where the Switch struggles to keep up with the pace of the game. Luckily for me, it's never dropped to the point for me where it's unplayable, but I'd say it's probably in the high 20s on average. Control-wise, surprisingly on handheld, Apex still plays pretty well, and I've managed to take out some enemies, but at the same time, you can't really play at your best, and even with the Joy-Cons, you still won't have the most pleasant experience. I'd say in short bursts it's fine, but if you're looking to play for a solid 3-4 to four hours, I don't think it holds up that well, and if you do wish to play docked, then grab yourself a Switch Pro controller, it will make a world of difference. Apex Legends also takes advantage of motion controls. For some people it can help in aiming, and this works for both on handheld or if you're using a controller. I for one prefer to play without motion controls, and luckily you can very easily toggle it on or off. Also for a team based battle royale game, communication is key and annoyingly, the Switch doesn't have the best approach at trying to party up with your friends, since there's no party chat functionality. Inviting someone is fine, but I had to load up Discord on my phone to talk to my friend whilst playing. You can't just plug in your headset into a Switch and talk away. Maybe that's something that the rumoured Switch Pro will bring to the table. Now you might be asking, well Tricky, if it's such a downgrade, why play Apex on the Switch then? Overall, with negativities put aside, I am impressed that Apex Legends is still running on the Nintendo Switch. For me, I don't think it will ever become the main console I play Apex on. Instead, it will be the version I think a lot of people will like to play on the go. And as mentioned, in short bursts, I think it's fine. And it's awesome that you'll be able to play anywhere with a Wi-Fi connection. Maybe be at a cafe, or at work, or even on the toilet, because face it, we're all in lockdown right now. The portability aspect is what sells Apex for me on the Switch, and the fact that I can still have a decent game. But yeah, these are just my thoughts, and with that said, let me know what you think in the comments below. Also be sure to give this video a like, as it really helps me out, and I'll catch you all next time. Oh.